y'all y'all naturally can you here and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to get into some virtual room apartment shopping so i know a lot of you have been interested in seeing like how much can you get like for your budget and today i wanted to take you on a bit of a virtual shopping tour of on one of the websites immobiliare which you can use to actually find your apartment uh here in rome I thought it'd be interesting because people always kind of dream of what they can get uh, whenever they go to try and live in a new city. And with Rome, I think it's a very particular uh, market at this particular point. I think a lot of the prices are much higher than they were pre-pandemic for the same sizes of apartment. At least, that, at least that's what I can see. Um, and so today I wanted to take you on a bit of a tour for each one of those apartments, uh, depending on your budget. And I want to get into a few notes before we begin. Um, so this will be predominantly centered on the Centro Storico, which you should know as the center of Rome. I wanted to show you guys exactly what I mean by this. So as you can see, I have a map here of this zone, uh, if you see me looking behind it, it's because I'm looking at my monitor here. Uh, and it's this zone in particular that's classified uh, by Immobiliare as the Centro Storico. So this is usually the area in Rome where many foreigners come when they want to live in Rome and they want to stay in the center to see all the sites, kind of go by foot, not necessarily take a car, um, because obviously if you live here long enough, like in Rome, you have to take the whole driving school. A lot of the driver's license are not recognized internationally. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, but that being said, uh, a lot of people are targeting the city center. So that's what I wanted to center this search around. Uh, in addition, I put a few filters on what we're looking for today. So I have the apartment has to be for rent. This video is centered around rented properties, just to give you an idea of how much everything costs in the city center. So only the city center for rent. And we're going to look at the floors, uh, particularly in the building. So these will not be the piano terra, which is the bottom floor, ground floor. We're looking at the intermediate floors and we're looking at the highest floor in the apartment. A lot of people say that it's always better to be on a floor that's not the bottom because some people experience break-ins here in Europe when you're living on the ground floor. So if you can, always try to find an apartment that's above ground level uh, so you don't have to worry about that necessarily. Um, so we have the middle floors, intermediate floors, and the last floor. And then I put two filters as well, and that is one for an elevator just for mobility uh, considerations for everyone, as well as furnish, which is arredato. So we're looking at an elevator, furnished, middle floors, last floor, and then obviously for rent, okay? So in the in this city center, mostly. <laughs> so this is what we're looking at today. And I just wanna take you guys on a bit of a tour to see, you know, how much you can get, uh, you know, bang for your buck wise anyway. So first things first, I always tell people, if you wanna move to any Italian city, I suggest you rent before you commit on buying a property there. I do not think three months uh, stay is long enough to make a lifelong decision of buying a property. I've heard people say, you know, Rome's so beautiful. I love it here. They decide to buy a property and then they realize this is a very complicated task. It's no easy feat to try to uh, establish yourself abroad ever, but I definitely think you should rent if possible for six months, at least in any city that you think about living in, just so you try to understand if that's really the long-term commitment you want to make. Just my opinion, do what you want, but I'm just letting you know because Rome as a person who lives here and a person as a tourist are two different things. Uh, they're not the same. You'll realize there are a lot of daily complications that may test your patience. So I suggest you live um, and see if it's worth it first. Um, so just starting off, uh, the first thing I would say, just as a few notes here, is that you really need to understand your needs and your budget. The budget is a big one. Um, I'll kind of wrap up this video with telling you what's actually possible for the Italian job market and salaries, but this is really uh, a salary, sorry, let me say it like this. This uh, price, these prices of the apartments that I'm going to show you are really for people that have brought their savings account, that have stocks, that have uh, some kind of nest egg fund because in general, the salaries that you will make in Rome cannot cover any of these apartments in the Centro Storico. It's just not enough. Unless you have many roommates, you cannot rent these alone. Just 
just a disclaimer to let you know right now that uh, the job market and the salaries that are provided in Italy after taxes in Rome could be around 1,500 to 1,700 euros a month. So just take that into consideration whenever you're seeing these properties, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is understand your needs and your budget, obviously. Um, that's probably the most important part, no? Uh, and then you wanna explore the different neighborhoods and understand what style you have. Uh, a lot of people like Monty, that's really, really the center of the city. Um, and I think it's a really nice kind of more bohemian vibe. I'm biased because that's where I live. <laughs> but um, I think it's a really great like center without being in the deep Centro Storico. And that's like Piazza Navona, like, you know, the real tourist attractions uh, is still a bit distant from that. But you still have your attractions around, obviously. Um, so that's first, understand your needs, understand your budget. Uh, and then obviously explore listings online. Here I'm using Immobiliare for this particular video, but there's so many other websites like Casa.it. And I'll put a few in the description uh, box below that you can kind of link uh, or explore the links and search through a few properties. Uh, most of them are in Italian, so brush up on your Italian. See, Italian lesson. Um, and then uh, there are some other market places, let's say like online on Facebook or um, I think a nest pick it's called is more tailored toward an English speaking crowd, but I always say it's better to look on the Italian site so you can see what is particularly there. Um, so I'll list those in the description box below. And then obviously in this video, I'm not going to go into detail about how you communicate with the agents and the landlords and the contract types. This is just solely for knowledge of how much the apartments cost and what you can get as a bank for your buck. That's it. There are so many technicalities on the contracting part and we'd be here all day <laughs> if I had to explain each one. So I'm gonna skip over it in this video. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section below. I can go into detail about what the different contract types are. A lot of them have some stipulations, uh, like there's a three year plus two year, for example, that you, it, look, I'm not gonna get all into it, um, but just know that if you are interested, let me know below and I may think about making another video that's more in depth for that. Um, Okay, so let's get into it. So uh, as I said, we're going to be looking at the border here, which Immobiliare is classifying as the Centro Storico. So you can see here on the south side, we have the red metro line, uh, Cerco Massimo, sorry, blue metro line, Cerco Massimo and Piramide. And this is kind of like the lower border. You're looking at this particular area that borders. This is Santa Maria Maggiore Church. And you're looking at Termini Station here. So we're looking at, you know, some areas a little bit above Repubblica Metro Station over to Villa Borghese, the park bordering here, down to Piazza del Popolo here. Uh, and then we're going down the Lungo Tevere and you're going to see your bordering. Um, this is your bordering uh, Trastevere, sorry. Uh, so you can see this is like a pretty high demand area. Uh, I mean, everyone always wants to live in this particular part of Rome whenever you come here. So we're focusing on that. Uh, so the first property I wanted to show you guys for rent is this particular apartment. Okay. And this is priced at 1,100 euros per month and it is 16 square meters and it's near the Pantheon. So let's go through some of these photos. As you can see, this apartment Oh, sorry, mono locale means one room, literally one room. Look at the bathroom, guys. You're literally turning around on your own feet. It's tiny, uh, it's a bit dated, uh, and you can see it's literally one room. You have the seating area here, the bedroom. Uh, everything's very, very compact, and it is for 1,100 euros per month. Now, me, speaking personally, would I wanna live here for 1,100 euros per month? No. Yes, the ideal location in the city center it's fantastic but for me 16 square meters you're literally turning around in the same place in the room so if you're here and you're going to be out every day i would definitely say hey you know this is a place that you could think about living uh but for me i just think it's too small and the price for what it is is just i mean for me my personal opinion i think it's just a bit too much so this is what you can get uh, I should probably explain this. This is one room, so one locale, which means one room, a mono locale is what that means. On the second floor with an elevator, it's 16 square meters. So as you can see, um, I don't know, you guys, let me know your, 
<laughs> comments in this. If you would pay 1,100 euros per month, so maybe 1,000, what, 150, $200 or something like this from per month, probably not including any bills. Um, but this is what you can get, okay? So this is just the first price point. We're looking at 1,100 euros per month. So let's see the next property that's, you know, bigger. It is 40 square meters. It has one bathroom. It's on the second floor. Here, there is no elevator. So I don't know how it got past my filter, but maybe I missed it. Uh, and this is also a one room apartment. So you can see this apartment is more or less in the same 1000 euro budget zone. Uh, it is one room, but at least there's some green, no? So this is uh, a view from their balcony. I think this is cute. I think it's a cute place. You see they did a loft style. Um, but as you can see, it is pretty, pretty small for 1,000 euros per month. As you can see, the bedroom is probably up here. This is underneath. This is the kitchen. They have a small little balcony, which is kind of cute. Um, but yeah, you're looking at a bathroom. You got to realize that a lot of the places here in Rome, they are a bit older, a bit dated. So you may be shocked to find that everything's not the latest modern technology, but that's just the beauty of Rome. You know, it is what it is. Um, but so you have this particular property. It's 1,000 uh, euros, let's say no bills included, but at least there's a cute little green space, you know, and it is one room. So it is in the city center. It's in Monty. So, you know, super central and, you know, it's something small, but delicious. I definitely think this one's a little bit better for the price point than the Pantheon of property. Um, and I also should mention that I'll leave these in the description box below. If you guys are interested in clicking around, obviously, whenever the agents take the links down, they will no longer be active. So if you're viewing this today, uh, when I upload this on Sunday, February 11th, then you're in luck because you can probably still find these properties. All right. So let's move on to the next price point. This is 1,700 euros per month. This is a bilocale. That means two rooms. So you could consider this as a one bedroom apartment, let's say, because the other room or locale, let's say, will be probably the living room. So the salotta. Uh, it is 65 square meters. There's one bathroom. It's on the second floor. And yes, there is an elevator. So this apartment is near Barberini, also super center. Sorry, super central. Um, if you zoom out here, I'll show you guys. It's right near Termini Station, but a little bit more you know, Northwest, let's say, uh, and very close to Spania where the Spanish steps are. So very, very central. Um, if we want to look at what the apartment looks like, again, this is a one bedroom apartment for 1,700 euros per month. So let's say 1,800, $850 a month. This is what you can get. So you can see a lot more space to spread out, spread your legs, <laughs> walk around a bit. You have a lot of natural light in this property, at least. And you obviously have a cooktop, you know, you have a stove top. Uh, I believe that's a microwave oven as well uh, that you can make something in. Looks like there's a kitchen. So this one seems to be a bit more renovated than the other properties. Um, this is obviously the entrance door to the actual apartment, I'm assuming, um, and the apartment itself. So here it looks like um, more of a property that you can have a bit more space. Now, that being said, it is still a bit high on the price point because obviously in the city center, that's what the prices are. So you have to consider this as well whenever you're kind of considering your search, okay? Because I do think a lot of the prices in Rome, it's not as cheap as people think it is. I mean, considering it's just this, depending on what city you already live in now, you may not think this is the best price. I mean, I personally don't think 1,000, um, 700 euros is so cheap considering it's just two rooms. Um, but yeah, this is just an idea of what you can get for your money here. So this is 1,700 euros. Uh, and just consider this as a B locale, let's say a one bedroom. So you have a one bedroom apartment for $1,700 a month. Okay. So let's move on. The next one, we have another bilocale, so another example of two rooms. This one's a bit bigger at 100, 100 square meters, <laughs> one bathroom, third floor with an elevator and it's at it's priced at 1,800 euros a month. So let's say $1,950 more or less. And this is what you get for this. So let's just say, let's round up bills, electricity, whatever, it's probably $2,000 a month. Um, so this is what you get. I think it's cute. It's homey. It's very white. It looks a little bit more renovated than the other places. Still a bit dated, but not bad. 
Uh, you have a little desk, it looks like, or is that a shelf? Oh, no, I think that's a desk by the window. Okay, so it's a natural light, um, as well as the bed, the wardrobe. You know, it's cute, you know, it's dated, but it's cute to me. It's it's giving Roman vibes, you know, <laughs> with the double sinks. Okay, so you, uh, you're a couple, you could live here. Okay, not bad. Um, and this is what you can get for, uh, like, let's say $2,000 per month. Um, this is also located in the city center. Let me see what this is. Okay, this is the Coliseum. So this is by the Coliseum or, yeah, the Roman Forum. Uh, so you're looking at the Coliseum like you're just down the street from the Coliseum. This is where it is. So if you consider that, then I guess you're really in the action when it comes to things between the Coliseo Metro and Manzoni. So luckily you have both like the blue and the red lines. So that's pretty convenient uh, in terms of the Metro. So this is what you can get for $2,000 or 1,800 euros per month. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. Um, okay, so let's move on. Let's go to something a bit bigger. Okay, this is 2,600 euros per month. Uh, it has four rooms. So let's say this could be a three bedroom apartment. It is 130 square meters. It has two bathrooms. It's on the second floor and there is an elevator. So sometimes whenever you get, you know, larger apartments, you'll see that they're styled a bit better. They're probably more modern. Um, oh, and this one's located in uh, Piazza Navona. So to be honest, you're literally right by the Tevere. You're super central. I mean, you're literally down the street from so many places to eat, drink. You're definitely in the middle of the action here uh, for sure. So the location, I would say, is pretty great unless you need metro connections and public transportation connections. Like, sorry, the metro connections, there's not really many around, but there are buses. My personal opinion is that you should live more near the metro line than, you know, a bus line because the buses are very unpredictable and at least the metro will eventually come. So the location, it is great if you're going to walk. Uh, also, this is St. Peter's here too, as you mentioned, Castel Sant'Angelo uh, and St. Peter's is right here. So very central if you want to take a bus, not the metro. The metro walk is a little further, um, but let's get into the property. So what is there? It is 2,600 euros per month. So that's like, let's say a three bedroom apartment or so. Uh, and this is what you can get for that. So the ceilings look tall, look nice. They look really, really high. Uh, the kitchen looks definitely more modern, more spacious. There's a nice table there. Looks like it's been renovated recently. The bedrooms look very, well, this bedroom looks large. Let me look at other ones. <laughs> uh, looks like I have air conditioning, which is nice. Uh, I love the style of this apartment because it's very, it's like what you think you'll get whenever you go to Rome, no? Uh, so here are some other views of the rooms that you are um, going to be dealing with. Here's the bathroom, uh, obviously a toilet and a bidet. I wouldn't be surprised if this was an X B and b um, So they said there are two bathrooms in this apartment particularly, but it's cute. You know, from the outside, it's very Roman. You know, you're in the middle of action. There's cobblestone streets. You know, it's it's cute. And this is obviously sometimes they'll include the floor plan as well. So what do you guys think? I think this place is cute. I mean, if you have three friends, uh, you guys want to live in the city center, you don't mind taking buses or taking taxis or just not taking the metro places. I don't think it's so bad. It could be worse. Um, and obviously, I think when you live with more people, you're obviously going to pay less. Uh, this is 2,600 euros per month. So if you divide that by three bedrooms, we're still looking at I don't know, like 900 euros, let's say. So $1,000 a month with the gas bills, whatever. Um, so yeah, just something to take into consideration. I think it's a nice apartment. Um, you know, it's not bad considering it's super central. Uh, and it's pretty, pretty nice in the style of it. I like it. I think it's something you could really move into. It's already furnished, so you just move right in. What do you guys think about this one? 2,600 euros a month, three bedrooms. Hmm, two bathrooms. Hmm. Okay, let's move on. So we have another one. Also, this one's a three locale. So you could consider this to be a two bedroom apartment. And this one's 2,500 euros per month. It's bigger. Yes, the last one was 130. Oh, no, no, sorry. It's slightly smaller. This one's 120 square meters. It's one bathroom, fourth floor with an elevator. Okay, so consider this as a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment. Let's see what it looks like. So this is the living room looks like the living room and maybe a dining area 
uh, as well. And you know, you have a nice natural light coming through the windows. It's cute. Uh, this has to be one of the bedrooms. It already has the wardrobe on the wall here. Uh, this must be the hallway leading to, oh, they have a ship, how nice. <laughs> how nice in the hallway um leading down the hallway probably to the other bedroom oh uh, yeah it's nice this one has a balcony it looks like there's a tv in the corner this one has actually a tub and a shower sometimes the tub is hard to come by in Rome so you have to consider that as well um and yeah the bathroom looks nice it looks pretty cute uh here it looks like some natural lights coming in uh the bedrooms look reasonably sized so nothing too small um, you're definitely not going to do cartwheels in there. That's for sure. But why should you be doing that anyway? Um, <laughs> but this is a, a pretty nice apartment. It looks like it's decently modern, uh, and renovated. Uh, this is the kitchen area. I do wish it was a bit bigger. Oh, okay. It is bigger. It continues on the other side. Okay. So not so bad. You see, this is one side, one view, uh, and that's the other view running down the other way. Okay. So personally, I don't hate it. It's nice. Um, and this one, I mean, you really have to consider, oh, it looks like it's under construction. I hope it's not loud. <laughs> and this must be the entryway into the building. Okay, so this is a better view of the kitchen. What are we thinking, guys? What are we thinking for this price point? Two bedrooms, one bathroom. Hmm, a ship, does a ship come with the apartment? <laughs> I'm just asking for a friend. Um, yeah, what do we think about this place, guys? What do we think? Do you think it's worth it? Hmm, let's see the location. It's 2,500 euros a month. It's three rooms. It's near, okay, La Bicana and Coloseo. So super central. Okay, yeah, okay. All right, yes, it is literally just like the other apartment. It's between the blue line with the Coloseo Metro and the red line with Manzoni. So, okay, it's very, very central. You could still walk to either Metro, you know, you're looking, you could probably even walk to Termini if you wanted to, so not so bad. Okay. Hmm. What do we think, guys? It's 2,500 euros per month. It's near the Coliseum in Coleopio. And then let's say it's two bedrooms, so 1,250 euros a month per room. Mm. To me, it's, the price is a little bit high. Uh, honestly speaking, to me, the price is a little high. But considering you're going to be either sharing this or you're in a family, um, I don't know. I think this apartment is a little bit on the higher side in terms of the price, but that's what you can get for 2,500 euros. Okay, let's move on. I have another one to show you guys. And this one is 3,000 euros per month. It was 3,250. So thank you for reducing the price 7.7%. How sweet of you. And this one is a little bit more, can I say luxurious? Because it's an attico, which means it's the last floor. It's like the penthouse apartment. This one has four rooms, so you can assume three bedrooms if that's how you want to count, like one living room and three bedrooms. It's 190 square meters, two bathrooms on the sixth floor with an elevator. Okay, so let's say three bedroom, two bathroom apartment for 3,000 euros a month. So 1,000 euros per month per bedroom, let's say. Oh, and it's also in Montecitorio, so it's super central. Let me go to the location here. Uh, yeah, this is where the parliament is so it's super super central again it's not necessarily right near the metro stations but you'll have a bus connection for sure uh in this area so we are really in the city center here we're deep in the city center for this property so that being said three bedroom apartment two bathroom let's get into the photos okay so we have three thousand euros here so a thousand euros per bedroom let's look okay this is the little living room okay some natural light there's a cute little terrace. Oh, the view of Rome. Oh, you know, it gets you every time. It gets you, what a nice view. <laughs> what a nice view, some nice plants. Be careful with the cactus there. Um, yeah, it's a cute place. I think it's really, really cute, especially because, well, you get to see the, the wedding cake building, as people say, um, in Piazza Venezia. And this looks like one of the rooms. You gotta remember that when you have these penthouse apartments, sometimes you'll actually have the roof roof coming into your place which seems to be the case here so you can see they have sloped ceilings um and this is one of the rooms it looks okay i guess if you're watch your head but it doesn't look bad i mean the fact they have the terrace it's cute um this is one of the rooms okay again sloping ceilings beware oh, it's kind of cute I, I mean i like it because it's just so much light you know and this is obviously a really great view of rome it's amazing i mean a, like a, a stunner of a view can you imagine at night having a drink out there on the balcony, a little glass of wine? How fantastic. Anyway, this is the entrance it looks like, and this is the outside of the building. So 
Guys, what do you think? This is a three bedroom, two bathroom apartment from what we can see. Uh, some of the rooms, I don't think everything's on this. Um, I don't think all the photos are here, to be honest. Um, what do we think, guys? Three bedrooms, two bathroom, $3,000 a month with this view. 1,000 euros per bedroom if you're splitting it. Hmm, what do we think about this? Hmm. I don't know, I kind of like it. I think it's very cute. They need to decrease this price a little bit more, <laughs> in my opinion. But it is a very large apartment. I mean, it's 190 square meters with the terrace, so. I mean, it is Rome, you know, in this city center. Um, and just to close out on this video, I wanted to actually look at a map of pricing in terms of rental properties and how Rome compares to the rest of Italy, or sorry, Lazio, the region compares to the rest of Italy. Um, so you can get an idea of how the rental prices are, at least for Rome, right? Because Rome is in Lazio, in case we have to back it all the way up. So. Look at this. Okay, so this is basically uh, a map that Immobiliare actually put together uh, based on the trends in the market. And this is for renting a property, okay? So this is basically giving you an average price for the properties that are advertised on the website. And as you can see, Rome is here and the price per square meter whenever you are renting the property is anywhere between like 13 and 15 euros, let's say. Uh, per square meter while if you look over here in Lombardia for example uh, in Milan uh, where that's in also Valle d'Osta you're looking at more than 16.4 40 uh, cents sorry 16 euros um, per square meter so you can see that Rome isn't necessarily the worst when it comes to the price per square meter per an apartment but it's definitely not cheap you know like we're looking at Toscana Toscana is a little bit more than Lazio but I feel like you really have to break it down even further for which zone of Lazio, which in this case we're doing the city center. But this is just a trend map of what you can see the prices are like per square meter on average. But this is very, very general to me because obviously in the city center of Rome, it's going to be much, much higher than this, for example. So let's jump into what Rome itself is like. So this is uh, kind of a zoomed in version on the prices like in the Centro Storico area of Rome, you can see this map and you see exactly why. Look, I would not take that average of 14 you know, euros per square meter because the Centro Storico is more than 20 euros per square meter. But you can see the further you go out, the cheaper the properties are. We're looking at 13 euros, 14 euros, 13 euros usually like uh, around Rome. Uh, and then obviously as you approach the city center, even in Cestaccio Trastevere, bordering the Centro Storico here, Prati, you're looking at more than uh, 20 euros per square meter to rent a property. This is all renting. So this just kind of helps you understand how much money is actually going into renting an apartment in Rome. And you can see, you can do some estimates and you can see uh, prices uh, of apartments for rent at least are going for around 27 euros per square meter in the city center. And then for sale, they're at 7,800 uh, euros per square meter, which is really, really uh, on the higher end uh, historically. You can see this as well. Like if you look here at this particular chart um, for the prices that the houses have gone for sale, you can see that obviously around the pandemic of 2020 dip down, the apartments were going for a little bit less, but it's rising more and more by the day. <laughs> and to buy an apartment, you're looking at at least 7,800 euros per, per square meter. Um, and then if you look at the renting which is why i told you guys it's insane these days it's because it's higher than it has ever been since october 2015. i mean before it was about 24 euros per square meter and now we're looking at 27. these small differences or quote small differences you think they are uh, all the prices are raising uh everywhere whenever you're renting a property and it's becoming um, a little crazy. You know, the market is a little crazy right now in Rome, not gonna lie, in the sense that I have uh, many, many friends that were looking for places and it took months for them to find something at a decent price that maybe matched, you know, 22 euros per square meter, not 27 uh, renting a property. So um, you just have to consider this. You know, the market is really, really high right now uh, in terms of what you can get for your dollar or euro, wherever you're coming from. Uh, so it's just something to take into consideration when you are on your search. So let's do a recap. I want to hear what you guys have to say about these apartments. So let's do a recap of which ones I 
kind of took you guys along with me on. Let's see here. We had the one room in uh, in the center of Rome in the Pantheon, one room for 1,100 euros, guys, 16 square meters. All right, let's say this is property A. Let's go to property B, the one room apartment uh, that's in Monte, so still in the city center, kind of a loft style uh, for 950 euros per month. So that's B. Let's go to C, uh, the B locale, so the two room or one bedroom apartment for 1,700 euros. So that's C. D, we have another one room uh, apartment for 1,800 euros per month. E, we have a quadri locale. So let's say this is the three bedroom, uh, two bathroom apartment. And then F, we have the Colosseo, La Bicana. This is a two bedroom apartment with one bathroom for 2,500. Then we have G, so this is the one with the price reduction as it should. <laughs> um, this is the three bedroom, two bathroom as well for 3,000 euros a month. And, oh, I forgot about this one. Okay, but we're not going, look. Okay, I'll flip through this one just for fun. This is a four bedroom, two bathroom apartment for 6,000 euros per month. Two bathrooms for on the fourth floor with an elevator. Uh, this one's just for fun because I realize like, unless you're coming here with a family or many, many friends to rent out each place, as you can see, it's completely renovated. 6,000 euros per month. Uh, it is on the very high side considering it's four bedrooms. Uh, you're still looking at over $1,000 per bedroom, 1,000 euros per bedroom. Um, yeah, it's to me, it's a lot, but they do mention that daily cleaning is included except for weekends. So I don't know if that's something you need to take into consideration when you're looking at this property. It's uh, definitely a a stretch if you're going to be living like in a smaller like with less people around uh but this is near España, so it's super central uh it's near the spanish steppe so that's something to take into consideration too um yeah so let's say uh let's say these are some interesting apartments you have a for 1100 b for 950 c for 1700 d for 1800 e for 2600 f for 2500 G, the Attica for 3,000. And let's just throw in H for 6,000 for fun. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I wanted to give you a real brief insight into what the market is like as of late when it comes to shopping for an apartment um, in Rome. Uh, I'll put some of the places you can go and look yourself uh, in the description box below. And if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below as usual. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. And let me know which property was your favorite. Which one did you like? Which one did you think was worth the money? Um, yeah, a lot of them are really outside of the, let's say, uh, average salary. Because after taxes in Italy, let's say in Rome, sorry, it's probably around one thousand five hundred to one thousand seven hundred dollars, or sorry, euros per month. And so, financial guides say don't spend more than three hundred or sorry, 300, 30% of your salary. So you're looking at 500 euros you can spend on your apartment per month, maximum. So you either need roommates, you need to be in a couple, or you need to live way outside of the city center of Rome. So that's just for reference in case you're wondering like, oh, it's not so much. Um, you have to consider that as well if you're trying to work uh, and live here in Italy, uh, particularly Rome in this case. And there are higher salaries in the North, but not much higher than that. <laughs> After taxes, I'm saying, depending on the job uh, and what field you're in, obviously subject to change, of course, but that's just a generic uh, rule. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was insightful and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Ciao.